What's happening? All right, this weekend, decided to pull out the transfer case. Uh, this is the NP242. It's not the 231, but uh, gotta work with what I got. Um, gonna pull it out and um, replace some bearings in it. Gonna crack this you know, guy open and uh, replace some bearings in it. Um, I have some type of noise coming either from the transfer case or the transmission. It sounds like a bearing or something. So I figured I'd go ahead inside and uh, rebuild this guy because it has uh, like a hundred and 170,000 miles? Yeah, something like that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna pull it out, refresh it a little bit, and uh, maybe I can uh, get rid of that noise. I hope I get rid of that noise. Uh, if you've never pulled a transfer case out, it's actually pretty simple. Um, just remove your drive shafts to the front and rear, and uh, you're gonna get rid of the cross member and the transmission mount. Disconnect all your harnesses. There's a vent hose up there, and disconnect the linkage. And there's a couple of uh, nuts that hold the transfer case to the transmission. I think there's like five or six. And then it'll just come right off and uh, hopefully it doesn't smash you. So. Having some of these is a real good idea. These little short midget ratcheting wrenches will help you a lot with getting these nuts loose because they're kind of in bad spots, but it's definitely, uh, definitely gonna want some of these. And I hope I don't smash myself with this thing. Let's see how heavy this thing really is. Ooh. Not too bad. So I should be able to reuse this. I can bend it back with the hammer when I go to put it back on. So, slide hammer, work pretty good.
Now this bearing here is a blind hole bearing. This one's going to be really, really fun to get out. And hopefully I, I may, hopefully I can come up with a way to get it out. This isn't going to make it any easier with this hole here. Alright, so to get the forks out, what you're supposed to do is there's there's a pin down down here that you need to extract at the very bottom of the shaft. And the way you get it out is this little access hole right here. Right here. There's a little rubber plug that's in there. But you need to shift this to get a get it out of the way and then you're supposed to drill and extract the pin through here with an, uh, an extractor which is going to be the biggest pain in the ass in the world and that's not going to happen so all so what I'm going to be doing is just end up prying here prying this part I'm not supposed to do it like this but I'm going to pry it and pull it right out Dang, dude, when that clip flew off, it kind of cut me up. All right, so the bearings feel good still, but I'm gonna replace them anyway. I don't really see anything, I don't really feel anything, but I have a load on them. I'm hoping that's the source of my sounds, my noises. I feel good. There's no play in them at all. A little bit of this one. I don't know. I don't know how much is normal. Here. I don't know. This is, uh, I don't know if my kit came with everything I need to place all this. It might have. Here's all the seals. And then the bearings. Alright, holy cow. It's the beginning of August, it's, it's crazy hot here down in Texas. Um, I'm at a pretty good stopping point right now with the transfer case, mostly because I don't have the my seal driving kit. I left it at work, I'm at the run to work and go get it, so I'm at a good stopping point for the day. Um, but I'm probably gonna split this video up into two videos, uh, the disassembly and then uh, the next video I'll throw all the bearings in. Um, I'll press them all in and do whatever I need. That'll be in the next video, so look for that video. Um, yeah, and if anybody, if somebody out there could tell me exactly what gear I need for 56 gears, it'd be kind of cool. Shoot me a link or something like that. Save me some, save me some time or something. So yeah, look at, be looking out for the, the second part of the video. Um, there'll be links down in the description box for it. And um, yeah, so um, I, I hope that y you learned something, or at least it's a little entertaining watching me do this, because. You know, I've actually never taken a transfer case apart before. I've done a, a whole lot of everything, but this isn't one of them. Servicing four wheel drive isn't anything that I'm, I've never done this before. So, and actually it wasn't that bad. Um, not that bad at all. Now the bearing part might get a little hard, but 
I, I think it's gonna come out pretty good. So uh, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button and you guys take care, be safe, have a great weekend, later.